the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm tired. I was stuck on 59 for like 40, uh, 40 minutes uh, for the song um, in the section there uh, about uh, 610. Um, I was, I was on time, just came from Houston International because I played Sabo, uh, the, the keys at Sabo School. And on my way to Berean, I was like, yeah, I'm going to be early. But this is just a reminder that, hey, God's time is not our time. I don't know what happened. Maybe you guys are going to hear it in the news. It was a horrible accident. I counted like maybe... 25 uh, cops, cars, ambulances, fire trucks, and we just sat there. All of us were just busy. I was speeding a little bit. Other folk were speeding. But we all came to a standstill. Even though we were busy, we had to stop. And then eventually the cops, they pulled one of the barricades. So, you know, they, that's the first time I saw that. I said, oh, that's what that's for. They opened, lifted the barricade, and, you know, folk went over on the hub lane, angel me lane, and then we turned around. We went on the opposite direction, say, like, wrong way, but it was the right way this time based on the circumstance. Why I'm saying this is that sometimes life, we think life is just, you know, we have it all in control, but we don't have it in control. God is in control. That's why I came up here. I was like, I'm tired mentally. But I was like, God, allow me to get here to Berean so that I can minister. Hey, maybe if I was a little bit earlier, I might have been caught in the I might have been caught in the accident. And so I'm saying sometimes the delay is not a denial. Come on, somebody. So please bear with me. It's a pleasure being here, but I know God is gonna do something mighty today. Amen. Hallelujah. He's able, he's able to do abundantly, exceedingly above all that we can ask, or we can think, or we can imagine. Somebody say hallelujah. Just lift your hands all over this building and just give God praise. Hallelujah. You made it here alive and well. That's a testimony. I could have, I could have been gone. I mean, something as simple as that. God is great. And he's greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. We give him praise. We lift him up. We bless his name. Amen. And he is so awesome. And then after here, I have to go on the toll to get to Central Church because I have to play the organ at the choir for choir at a concert. And what I'm saying, sometimes we get so busy that we gotta. When I was caught in that accident, I just I just calm down and just sit down. It's like I ain't got nothing to do. Let me just think on you, God. So what I'm saying is, is that just, you never know, you never know. Keep your eyes on God, amen? Hallelujah. We give God praise, hallelujah. Glory to God, it's a pleasure being here. Thank you for allowing me uh, the privilege to minister one more time, amen? And we know that God is great and he is able, amen? To do abundantly, exceedingly above all we can ask or think. Praise the Lord. I just feel a song to sing in my spirit. I'm not a singer, but I mean, I play, I'm a musician, but I just want to sing that song, In the Name of Jesus. We have the victory. And if you know it, you can help me, because that's what the message is going to be on. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you want to stand, if you want to clap, if you want to lift your hands and praise God, you can do that. Amen? We have the victory in the name of who? In the name of Jesus. Come on, let's give him some praise today. Hallelujah. Demons have to flee. Demons will have to flee. 
Till I want no more. He's a mighty God. And that's why I praise him. Because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. That's why I praise him. Because he has kept me on 59. Come on, somebody. That's why I praise him. Because I walked in here on my own. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. I get excited. Because God has done so much for me. I can't tell it all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, saints of God. It's, it shouldn't be praise. It shouldn't be foreign to our lips. He woke us up this morning. He put food on your table. He put shoes on your feet. Glory to God. He put clothes on your back. Hallelujah. Come on, shout it out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I could have been dead, but mercy said no. Hallelujah. Man, I feel a dance today. Glory to God. God is so good. Amen. I could have been dead. Amen. Something as simple as that, but I'm here because of the mercies of God. Amen. And when I think of the goodness of Jesus, I got to tell it all. I got to shout it all out. For he's wonderful, God. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Praises should never be foreign on our lips. Because when he bursts those clouds, we're going to be shouting for glory. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him upon the loud Sunday symbols, upon the organs. It says, let everything that have breath praise God. I'm not going to shout for a football game. I'm not going to shout for a basketball game. But I'm going to shout for God today. Because he's kept me a mighty long way. A mighty long way. In the name of Jesus, I've got the victory. You've got the victory. When we call on the name of Jesus, tell me who can stand before. Jesus, when you call him, he answers. When you call him, he hears your humble cry. I called Jesus when it was on 59. I don't be calling Jesus sometimes on 59, but I called him on 59 a few minutes ago. He's a keeper. The scripture says, shade upon the right hand, the sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know who holds tomorrow. And I know he, he holds my hand. Hallelujah. There is no other name like Jesus. It's the sweetest name I know. I am kept. Seth is kept by the power of God. Though trials may come, we have to press on toward the mark of the higher calling, which is in Christ Jesus. I want you to, if you will, to just turn your, your, in your word of, of God in, in the scripture to Matthew chapter one, and you, you guys don't run too far away because I, I love to sing. Hallelujah. That's what keeps me. 
Glory to God. My mom, man, when I was a kid, my mom used to sing even in the shower. I thought she was crazy, but now I understand at my age why she sang, why she praised God, because it kept her mentally. We got so much stuff going on, but he is a keeper. If you call on his name today, he's a keeper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's so wonderful. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 21. I didn't give you the, the chapter. But Matthew chapter, sorry, Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. I need someone to just jump up and just read that scripture and sit back down and, hallelujah, and say hallelujah. If you have it and you feel impressed, stand up and re repeat that scripture. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21, in the hearing of the congregation. And she shall bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. For he will save his people from their sins. Father, we praise you today. This is your word, the living word of God. I pray, oh Lord, that you will speak to us through your word, your living word. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The name of Jesus means the Lord is salvation. We talk about names a lot. Names are important. Right. My name is Seth, and that means appointed. My mom's name, she said, you're going to be Seth. Well, I, I don't know. I didn't know yet. Yeah. Seth means appointed because it was a re-emplacement of something that was lost, reappointed. After Cain killed Abel, then Seth came on the scene. And then my middle name is Daniel. I'm like, okay, well, at least my last name is not biblical, it's Oxley. <laughs> but names are important. When you make reference to a name, you are making reference to authority. If I go to the bank and I write my, if my name is there, I got to sign that check in my name, nobody else's name. I can't sign it in Elder Kelly's name because I won't get my money. In my name, my ID card, my name is on my ID card. It's important to make reference when you call a name. When you're calling a name, it means a, it's a basically character. It's someone's character. And I told Ma, I'm, I'm praying to God that I live up to my name because I have two Bibles. She didn't give me one Bible name, but two. Let me, by the grace of God, live up to these, these names for they are very important. And the name of Jesus is the Lord is salvation. I didn't know I'm talking to most of you are Christians. Most of you believe in God, but maybe someone may be, maybe, maybe questioning. I know these messages and sermons you hear, you hear them all the time. But I just want to reinforce the name of Jesus. Can I do that today? Reinforce the name of Jesus. Mark chapter 9 verse 39 is also important. And, and Jesus, he wore miracles. And it says, do not stop me. I'm going to be just giving verses connecting this, this message today because it's all in the name of Jesus. Jesus said, do, do, Jesus said, no one who does a miracle in my name can in the next moment say anything bad of me. When you use somebody's name, you better be using that name good. Are you using that name wisely when you make mention? Oh, I know this person. What's his name? What is her name? Names are, in, are crucial and names are important. But right now we are talking about the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. That's why we said just now, victory is mine. Only in Jesus' name can victory be mine. It cannot be mine in Seth's name because my name don't have power to save. Come on, somebody. Your name, the, the pastor's name don't have power to save. It has power to do other stuff in the church. But when we talk about salvation and we make reference, there's so many religions, so many denominations. But we are calling the name of Jesus. Do you know what you call on the name of Jesus? Do you know why when you say Jesus that you believe and you expect that something should happen? When you call Jesus, when you call the name of Jesus, do you really believe that he is still able to deliver and to save? Mark chapter 16, verse 17 and 18 says, And these signs will accompany those who believe. So indeed, we have to believe on the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 
Signs and wonders will accompany them that believe in my name. They shall drive out devils. They shall speak with new tongues or languages. They shall pick up snakes. They shall drink deadly poison and it will not hurt them. I know some churches do this literally. Um, snake handlers and some of, the, some of the pastors died. They just literally have snakes in the church. I don't know if you've ever seen it. Sometimes they comes over on the news that they died because the snake bit them. We're not talking about that. You know, we're, we're talking about the name of Jesus. It's just saying that you can have power through my name. Amen. John 16, verse 23 and 24 says, In that day you will no longer seek, ask me anything. I tell you the truth. My Father will give you whatever you ask in my name until now you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive and your joy will be complete. I'm asking God for seven cedar. In the name of Jesus. Because I have a little car there. It's faithful. But when my three kids get in the back, they tear the car up. And I'm like, Lord, they need some space. I need some space. We need space. God, I need a seven-seater. And I'm trusting God for that seven-seater. I said, I need it in the name of Jesus. Amen. No, I'm trusting God. For, I'm trusting God. Thank you. I'm trusting. We got to trust God for everything in our life. The very air that you breathe. You tr do you trust God for it? I'm trusting God. For these two, how many lungs you got? Two? For these lungs to keep that air in there. Trust God. Call upon the name of Jesus. I don't just, I don't just be dancing. I don't just be singing because I can do it. I do it because I know my connection with Jesus Christ. We need to know our connection with the name Jesus. I'm trying to calm myself down. I was excited. To, I, I had to calm myself down. Glory to God. Because I'm telling you, when you call on the name, my sister was praying. She was praying in the name of Jesus. Did you believe that he can do it? Do you believe that he can do what he say he can do? I believe. Help all the my unbelief. I'm trusting God for that seventh season. And I'm telling you, one of these days, I'm going to pull up in that seventh season in this church. And you will say, yeah, he did. Remember, yeah, yeah, back in, I don't even want to put the time limit on it. Hallelujah. But that's how our faith in Christ's name should be. That when we ask, if it is his will. Uh-oh. Well, I hope it's his will. I believe it's his will. Hallelujah. Don't get, don't. Hallelujah. If it's his will. Allah, Allah, man, you guys over here, you guys are getting me excited. I got to say over here, if it is his will, you shall receive. That's why we pray in the name of Jesus. That's why we bless our food in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. That's why we cast out demons in the name of Jesus. That's why we pray for the sick in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's why we do all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Acts 2, 21. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you call upon the name of Jesus, you will be saved. Romans chapter 10 verse 13 says, and I'm just giving you simple scriptures so that you can meditate. And you can be reminded that everyone who calls on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ will be saved. I now understand why my mom be calling and she's still alive. My parents are still alive, thank God. Why she be calling? I was like, why is she? Why, what's, they don't take all of that. No, I was growing up. I didn't know because I didn't, I mean, I went, I grew up in church. But I didn't have a connection with God. And I didn't understand what, but now when the bills hit me, I understood what my mom said, why she's be saying that. In the name of Jesus. Mm. Glory to God. Acts 2, 38 says, Peter says, Peter replied and says, repent. And be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. It's in the name of Jesus. That same name, every knee shall bow, tongue, confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. When we call upon the name of Jesus, he hears us. And he answers us. 
Acts chapter 3, verse 6. Then Peter said, remember when he went up there, Peter said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee in the name of Peter. No. In the name of who? Jesus. Rise up and walk. And what, the, what happened to that man? He was walking. He was leaping like me. God, I'm going to leap in here. And praising God. He went right up in the temple. I, I, hey, if my imagination serves me correctly, I can see some folks say, why he be hollering like that? Why he, why he shouting like that? But he was delivered through Jesus Christ. So he understood and he was connected to the source. And he was leaping for joy because he was crippled. When you cripple, you can't walk and God touch you and you leave. Man, you can't help but to praise God. When God delivers you out of a circumstance, I'm talking today, you can't help but to shout for glory. Hallelujah. When God delivers you out of the pit of hell, out of the fiery darks of the wicked, you can't help but to praise God. Amen. You can't help but to give him praise and glory and glorify him and give him glory and praise him and open your mouth and shout out the goodness of God. For when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, I can't keep quiet. I can't keep it to myself because he's so good to me. When I studied in school, in theology, I studied in the school of theology, in the seminary, I got my BA, and, and back, they, back home they were saying, oh, he's a, um, he pentevented. Pentevented meaning you're, you're Pentecostal, Adventist, Pentecostal. I never heard such in my life because I can't keep quiet. Because of the goodness of God, I wore that title with pride. Because it's nothing foreign to the church of God to praise God. It should be not foreign to, it's nothing Pentecostal, it's not no label on it. Because it's if my Bible says to make a joyful noise, I'm going to shout. It never says make a joyful quiet, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All the land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Hallelujah. That's why I got to shout it out. Even in my discouragement, even in my stresses, even in my weakness, because I'm not perfect. His strength, his name, I call on his name. I invoke his name. And it gives me strength. When you call on the name of Jesus, something must happen. It must happen in your life. We are striving for, 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 uh, to perfection. We are striving. It's continuous. It's progressive. But, but know this. That even when the enemy comes in your mind to rage in your mind, call on the name. This is a simple message. I ain't got no big fancy stuff to tell you guys, but call on the name of Jesus. Amen. Call on the name of Jesus in your struggle, in your silent addiction, in your silent struggle. Call on the name of Jesus when you're depressed. There are a lot of us that are depressed and we're in church sitting down with suits and ties and hats and all kinds of stuff. And we're depressed. Call on Jesus. You're vegetarian and depressed. I'm vegetarian. Call on Jesus. Amen. What I'm saying is that all these things are fine and nice, but there is only power in Jesus. There's not power in my diet. No. There's power in Jesus. There's not power in all this. Because I can put it on as a form of godliness, but there's power in I'm, I don't know who I'm talking to today, but there is power in Jesus. We need to experience that name. We need to experience the character of God. We need to experience the authority of Jesus' name. So when we cry out to him, we are not doing it out of ritual, but we do it out of connection and relationship with him. Amen. So when you say Jesus, you don't just say Jesus. Like how some people say Jesus Christ and they be cussing. No, you say because you understand that name, there is victory when they call on him. There is deliverance when I call on the name of Jesus. There is freedom when I call on the name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We have the victory. Do you believe that? Acts 3, 16. By faith in the name of Jesus, this man who you see and know was made strong it was in Jesus' name. And the faith comes through him that has given this complete healing to him, as you all can see. And I'm reading, I'm not reading the King James Version, but I'm just trying to break it down. 
And I'm just trying to give you scriptures that are based on the name of Jesus so you can go home and be reminded of it. That the name of Jesus, there is power and victory in the name of Jesus. Simple message. Acts 4, 10 and 12. Then know this, you and all the people of Israel, it is by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who you crucified, but whom God raised from the dead, that this man stands before you healed. Salvation is found in no else, no other name under heaven to, given to men, but the name of Jesus that you may be saved. The name of Jesus, whom they crucified. Salvation is found in Jesus' name. It is by this name that this man was healed. It is by the name of Jesus that we are healed. It is by the name of Jesus that we can feel the power of God. Because it says, whatever you do, do it. Whatever you do here, do it in the name of Jesus. Because he's your mediator. He's your intercessor. He's your high priest. That's Hebrews. He, he's the connection. He's the medium between you and God. Right. He stands in between there for you. That's why you call on his name. For he died for you. He died for me. The name of Jesus. Acts 4, 18. They called then in again, commanded them, do not speak or teach the name of Jesus. So the name of Jesus was, was prohibited. It says, don't speak on this name. You, you, you're doing too. You're casting demons out. You're, doing too, you, yo, you're making us lose our, our, our prophet. Even that girl that had that spirit of divination. They, they say, I cast you out in the name of Jesus. And it came out of her. When we say the name of Jesus, we expect results. When we say the name of Jesus. It is important then to be focused and call on the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ came preaching the kingdom of God. Matthew 4, 17. He preached the kingdom, the good news of God. And he, he cast out devils. He healed the sick. That is what accompanies the gospel, the good news. When we, when we go there, we got to see healing is going on. We got to see deliverance going on. Because that's attached to the gospel, the good news. When you, when you pray, expect miracles. It may not come in your time. It may not come in my time. But we know it's going to come. Because you believe. Just like how I believe for that seven seed there. I'm still there. Yeah. Call on the name of Jesus. Jesus. When my mom called on Jesus, man, you feel your hair standing on your on your your, your hair standing on your because she believed on your hand because she believed what she meant. It is true her prayers that I'm alive today. The prayers of your, pa- your parents, the prayers of my parents, that we are here today. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. And that's why I keep repeating it for emphasis. When I say Jesus, I expect him to come out for me, come, come through for me. When we say Jesus, the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm not doing that even when I'm in the car. I'm, 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 I got in the car uh, yesterday, and I'm, I said, and I was like, oh, thank you, God. I'm like, man, I sound like an old man. <laughs> That's what my mom, and, my mom and dad used to do. But it becomes, a, it becomes a part of you because you're connected to the source. When you go into the grocery store, call on the name of Jesus. I'm saying to be loud and all kinds of stuff. You can say it in your mind. But take the name of Jesus with you. They're, sh- they're, they're just shooting, shooting stuff up, shooting malls up. I'm not saying this to scare you, but we don't know when we leave this building. We don't know, but we have Jesus with us. Amen. When you call on Jesus, something happens. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. There's no other name among men that you can be saved. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Every time I think about the goodness of God, I can't keep it, I can't keep quiet because he, he, he saved me. He delivered me. I know how many of you remember I got shot. For those who don't remember, I'm, I just feel impressed to remind you. I got shot. 
10 years ago, right on my chest. And before that, something just say, praise me, start praising me. I was at work. I was a security guard. I was at work, but I just was singing those songs. That's why it's good to remember the words and remember, put stuff to your memory because sometimes you don't have a Bible all the time in your hand. But commit it to your memory. And I was just singing those songs and of, of Psalms of Zion, create, making melody in my heart. And I got, and then a couple minutes after, I was talking in the middle of a gang clash and I got shot on the chest and, and the, the, I saw blood and you know, I pulled my shirt off and the, the folk came and they, 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 they was like, man, he got shot. And the bullet had just grazed my, my chest. And I'm like, maybe if I sneeze, had sneezed or walked left or right, I might have I got it right in my heart. And that's 10 years ago. 10 years ago, we were, we were, we were getting married a uh, couple months after that. They could have been doing, instead of wedding arrangements, could be doing funeral arrangements for me. And I, I, on that day, I vowed to God. I know we don't really like to say vows, but they, I said, God, I vow that I will praise you always. Hallelujah. I will worship you. I get emotional, but because, because I could have been dead so many times. You, only God knows how many times he has snatched you from the hands of of death. Sometimes we go about it like, like normal. Like it's like it's okay, it's normal because we live. We got a schedule, we got we gotta make the money, we gotta do all this stuff. But even on even at that example on 59, we don't have life in our hands. And I was gonna leave Houston International SDA Church a little bit earlier. Maybe I hey, maybe if I left five minutes earlier, I wouldn't be caught straight up in that traffic. Or something else different could have happened. What I'm saying is that we don't know about tomorrow. We don't know about today. I don't know about a couple seconds from now. But if you take the name of Jesus with you, if you have that character, if you have the name, if you evoke the name of Jesus, you know that even if you close your eyes, it will be well with your soul. Though Satan may buffet, though trials may come, can you? We want to say it is well with our souls. In conclusion, I always call on the name of Jesus. As I said, this is a simple message. I just like to get practical. In my everyday life, the affairs of my life, the issues of my life, the challenges of my life, it's not easy. It is not easy being a Christian. It's not easy. It is not easy every day of our lives. But when we commit our hearts to God, to Jesus Christ, to the name of Jesus, it gets better. It gets easier. Yes, Satan is going to come knocking on your door. Yes, you're going to have temptations. The best of us have temptations. You're going to have sufferings. You're going to have challenges. You're going to have issues. But God is with you. God is with you. He said, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. I know I'm talking to somebody. I, it can be one person, two, two people. He, I want to encourage you today. Do not let go. Right, right. Somebody in here today may, or listening to me may be on the verge of suicide because suicide is rampant these days. Yes, yes. Do not let go. Yes. Hold on to God's unchanging hands. Yes. Hold on to his hand. So they want to come and take captive of your mind. But remember, your mind must be renewed. Call on the name of Jesus. If you feel discouraged, call on the name of Jesus. I've been going to church for years. I grew up in church. I was, people say you were born in church. I was born in the hospital. I was born in church. But you know what I mean. We, we, we are part of the church. We've been in church from small, from cradle. From, yeah. But I had to understand God for myself. God allows issues. He, listen to me, he allows challenges to build your character, to keep you focused, to strengthen you, to keep you near him. That's why what, what, what Paul says, oh, wretched man of me, chief of sinners, didn't he say that? Do I be? Jesus shed his blood for me. Hold on to God. Take the name of Jesus with you. Keep God with you. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. Jesus knows all about your trials. 
He knows about your struggles. You feel to give up? Don't give up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He's able to deliver. Call upon the name of Jesus. The enemy may want to come to burden your mind and tell you you're not good enough. That's a lie. His grace is sufficient for you. His grace is for, for you. It says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. That's why I call the name of Jesus. Take the name of Jesus with you. This is a new week coming up. We don't know about this week, but we know that God is with us. God is with us. I'm going to leave you with the scripture. He was wounded for my transgressions, Isaiah. Mm. Bruised for our iniquities, our sins. The chastisement of peace were upon him. And, but with his stripes and with his stripes, you get the healing. Glory to God. With his stripes, you get the healing. You get the freedom. You get the deliverance. You get the victory. With his stripes, I am healed. With his stripes, you are healed. All of we like sheep have gone astray. Every one of us. But thank God for grace. Mercy said no. Grace. Marvelous grace. Grace that, that what? What's, what? What does it say? Grace that is greater than all my sin. Grace. Wonderful grace. Take the name of Jesus with you. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. He's able. I don't come with flattery words and, and all this Greek and stuff like that. I want the simplest child to understand what I'm saying this morning. The name of Jesus is with you. My children, when they're in trouble, they call on my name. Well, they call on mom first. And if mom is not there, they, then they call on, on me. But they understand that when they say dad or mom, that we're going to come. We're going to step in. We're going to fight for you. That's how God wants us to, to be with him. As we as his children, when you go through trials, that's what David did. In my distress, I call on the name of the Lord. And he what? Heard me. Hear my prayer. My prayer, oh God. Attend unto. Hear my prayer. Get personal with God. Hear my prayer, oh God. And I know, I know who holds my hand. Hallelujah. God is able to deliver us. In the name of Jesus. Come on, sis. I, I want to put you on the spot, but I just feel to call you up and sing. I want you to just sing that song that you sang today. Glory to God. Hallelujah. As we, I just, you know, as we close, I, I, I'm, I, I hope I wasn't long before you. I, don't, I wasn't long, right? I want to call it, sister, sing it. Sing it. Hallelujah. I want to hear it. Come on. And when you finish, if there's someone who want to come up and, and want prayer, you can do that. Amen. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Stand to your feet all over this building. Hallelujah. It will never lose its power. If you can stand, stand to your feet. Hallelujah. It will never lose its power. Hallelujah. It will never lose its power. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Come on, somebody. Praise God. Just give him some praise. Just say, Lord, I, I trust you today. I trust you. I trust you. Come on, guys. You you guys are quiet. Come on. Just open your mouth and say, Lord, I praise you. Just open your mouth today. Say, Lord, I bless you. I worship you. Say, tell him something today. Hallelujah. As a collective body of believers, let's all open our mouth and say, Lord, I bless you. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I bless you. I, I thank you today. You are my help. You are my comfort. You are my hope. You are my joy. You are my peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Come on, just pray. open your mouth and praise God. Just praise. I'm not begging you to praise God. But you don't know when you leave this place. You don't know what's going to... You don't know. But God knows. Praise God for all his blessings and benefits. Praises will never be foreign on my lips. Because God is a keeper. Hallelujah. He's a keeper. The blood of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is deliverance in his name. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm going to pray and I'm going to leave y'all. Hallelujah. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He is so good to me. He is so good. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Keep it right there on that note. Yeah, that card right there. Keep it right there on that organ. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right there. I used to say, don't take all that. I used to, I was like, I'm too emotional as a guy. Why should I be all this emotional and stuff? But I looked at my psalm and I saw David. He cried out to God and he was a man after God's so heart. He was man. There ain't nothing more man than that to cry out to God in your distress. He cried upon them and he called on the name of God. 
He was going through trials. He was going through trials. He was going through circumstances. But he called on the name of Jesus. They, 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 his enemies dig a hole. They put a, a, a net and David say, they want to kill me. They want to seek after my life. But I know if I call on you, they shall stumble and fall. The wars rise up against me. This shall I be confident. The day that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew your strength. I'm speaking to somebody today. You shall mount up with wings as eagles. You shall run and not be weary. I'm telling somebody, wait upon the Lord for your help. Wait upon the Lord for your deliverance. Wait upon the Lord for your victory. Because God will deliver you from your adversaries when you call on the name of Jesus. 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 We call upon your name today. We say hallelujah. We call on your name today. Jesus. 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 The lily of the valley. Hallelujah, Jesus, the miracle work. True God, you have victory. We call on God today. Guide me, O thou great Jehovah. Pilgrim through this barren land, I am weak. We are weak, but you are mighty. Hold your children. Hold your children. Hold us up so we won't stumble and fall. Hold us up when we need you. We need you now more than ever. We need you in these streets of Houston. We need you in the schools. We need you in our workplaces. We need you in our homes. We need you in our churches. We need you in our marriages. We need you in our families. We need you in our going in. We need you every hour. We need somebody say, I need thee every hour. I need thee, I need thee, I need thee. Glory to God, I need you, I need you today. For the times are evil, oh God. But that we can say like David, create in me a clean heart. Oh God, and renew my spirit. Our spirits are weak. Our flesh is weak. The spirit is indeed willing. But the flesh is weak. Touch our flesh today. Touch every member of our body today. We give you our life, oh God, the rock of our salvation, the refuge, our strong tower, our deliverer, our shield, of a rock of defense, our shield and buckler. We call on the name of Jesus, the name that every knee shall bow. The authority of Jesus. Power in the name of Jesus. Victory and healing in the name of Jesus. We call on the name of Jesus. To work a miracle on your children's behalf. To work of healing on your children's behalf. Deliverance on your children's behalf. So that they can be able to say that this is the God I've waited for. Thank you one more time. Anyone that's depressed. That is suppressed that is wounded, that is battered, that they even feel like going to church today, they even feel like coming in. I pray, oh God, that you will touch them and you will bless them, that you will deliver and you will heal minds today. Oh God, heal our minds today. Touch our minds. May our minds be renewed and transformed in your name. In the name of Jesus, we say, oh God, have your way. Have your way in our lives. I am weak, but you are mighty. You're great. A shelter in the time of storm. Oh, Jesus is the rock in the weary land. Thank you. Thank you. We won't fail to give you the glory. We say thank you. Come on, brothers and sisters. Don't let me just thank you myself. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name. Amen.